Hey guys, it's Leverdo one here, and today we are going to be doing some more Universe Sandbox 2. Specifically, we're going to be making cooler, uninhabited worlds. It seems to me like most of my videos I focus on gas giants or habitable worlds, such as um, tropical worlds, ocean worlds, so we're going to change things up and try to make the coolest uninhabitable planets possible. So, thinking for this, we might need to go with a big star. A really big star, if we can ever find one. Uh, let's see, who's this one? Nah, that's pathetic. Let's go... If I remember correctly, this might... Yep, do that. So, let's delete that. Alright, maybe it's better to start new. Alright, let's try this again. It's funny, you'd think they'd actually put large stars in here. Here. Let's try this one. How big is this? Three point nope, not good enough. Yeah, that should work. Alright. So, let's take a look at the view, change this to these settings. There's now not even a habitable zone, which makes sense. So, I think we might want to know how far we can put something, or how close we can put something and not have it die. So, let's try, maybe guess and check might be the best method here so random rocky planet all right although we, the barrier might just be the temperature which would completely eliminate the look of it but maybe we can put I don't know. Try putting another rocky planet in orbit. I'm not sure how that's working out. Might, might want to push. Try another one a bit farther back. Maybe over here. So yeah, I'm thinking binary planet for sure. All right, that's a decent distance. It's a little molten, but not too severely. Temperature should we work this out to be? Maybe a more barren look, a reddish brown. Alright, let's see how that looks. No, it's a bit too much, like a pile of muck. How about. Maybe bring it up towards the yellow area. Er, no, definitely not. I mean, it looks okay, just not great. Bit, make it a bit more gray. Alright, maybe a ring system would be better than a binary planet. Let's edit this. Total mass. Zero point three four moons. Number of particles. There we go. Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Then we can throw in an asteroid or two. So, I'm gonna cut off the grid. That's not looking too nice, in my opinion. I think to truly make this look the best, we're gonna need to have a star maybe have a ring, too. 
so let's just eliminate those two. There you go, that's a bit better. Add ring. Alright, how about total mass? I'm gonna have this 13 Earths. Number of particles. Yeah. Alright, inner radius. AU. 14 AU. 45 AU. This might get really laggy, but it'll be pretty cool. Alright. There we go. I think my computer is a boss and can probably handle it. If I could, I'd just devote this entire channel to bragging about my computer because it's that amazing. Alright, so like that warm infrared glow coming off of it. Although I'm thinking we might want to change the. Might be a bit better if we had the planet up higher above the ring. So I'm gonna place a planet above the ring. Alright, let's take a random rocky planet. That should be good. Now we can edit that planet from here. Should look pretty good. Add a few asteroids, or no, how about some small moons? And now let's start working on the actual planet. So, high elevation, you know, I don't see why not, it can be white. Then uh, this will maybe make a bit browner. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that gold look there. Let's pull this down over reddish. Yeah, that's looking nice in my opinion. So now let's add an atmosphere. Surface pressure, ATM. And make it hot. Let's make it 13 ATM. Maybe that's not quite the desired effect. Maybe we should bring this down to like four. Or two. Yeah, let's increase the albedo a bit. We made it pretty ridiculous there. So what happened here? Did the moons get the moon get obliterated a bit? Whoop, that is not what I meant to click on. Ah oh, well. At least we still have this moon. Alright, I'm not liking that, it's not looking pleasant. Be very smoldering black planet. Dark and irradiated. I'm not sure what I want to do with that blue. Should I keep it? Looks pretty nice, but it could look better. Let's try red. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Now let's work on the orbital and rotational dynamics of this planet. As in just making it move at a s faster pace, I think. If I can ever click on it, there we go. Alright, motion. Four days isn't bad, but I'm thinking something like this should take a very short amount of time, so maybe 0 0.4 hours, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Alright, let's see what else. So I'm thinking 
that planet's looking nice. And I'm sorry that I really haven't been recording at all lately. It's just school, social life, it's all in the way. And I've never quite had time. And I'm pretty salty because some of my friends' channels, like How to MCPE, by the way, never check out that channel, it's cancer, um, are getting ahead and frustrates me. But I guess it's just I'm not not fully involved in this. I'll try to be as involved in this as I can. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Lever to One, signing out.